Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. 21-22, Topps Finest, UEFA Champions League Soccer 4 box, random team break number 12, the second half of the case that we popped open um, a couple days ago. You can see that, I crossed out, you can see that uh, break 13 is already loaded up. That's a half case from a fresh case. We're also giving away four extra spots. So if you bought a spot straight up, thank you to this group here, You've got a chance to win these extra spots right here in our first dice roll. Second dice roll will be for the names and teams. All right, so let's roll it and randomize it. Top four after seven. Four and a three, seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, congrats to Kevin. There you go. Two Kevins, a Jay, and a Brian. Sorry, Adam. You've got extra spots, so after seven times, a little buy one, get one scenario for you. That's not bad. Gives you some better odds at some of the better teams in this break. Now, let's gather all these names here. There's all the teams, including some combos. Let's get your names in here. Second dice roll, let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a two, six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six highs, we got Jay down to Ryan. Four and a two, six times for the clubs. One, two, three, four, five, and good luck. Sixth and final time. We got Red Bull Leipzig up top and Barcelona on the bottom. All right, Jay, you got Leipzig. Kevin with Borussia Dortmund and Ajax. Brian with Inter, Milan. Andy with Bruges and Lille, combo. Adam with Chelsea. Kevin with Porto and Salzburg. Ian with Atletico Madrid. Jay with Atalanta. Brian with uh, Man City and Juventus. Adam with Bayern Munich. Kevin with Paris Saint-Germain. Kevin also has Sporting. Ryan with Wolfsburg and Sevilla. Melissa, you got my club, Liverpool. Jay with AC Milan. Brian with Man United, Kevin with Real Madrid, and Ryan, last one, Mojo, Barcelona. All right, so let's alphabetize by club. And we are going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. So we'll see you on the other side of the trade window. All right, welcome back to the other side of the trade window. Not the transfer window, but the trade window here on Choo Tuesday, 7-11-23. Big thanks everybody for grabbing your spots here. Appreciate it. Um, another half case break is loaded up. Let's knock out another one tonight. We're still giving away those four extra spots. So if you buy a spot outright, you have a chance to win a spot outright, which would be awesome. Um, we got a lot of, I think there's a lot of soccer buzz still happening here. We've got Women's World Cup happening soon, right? At the end of the month, I wanna say. A couple weeks maybe. And then we've got um, I'm just seeing a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, preseason training camp, you know, kind of images and videos coming out on various social media sites for various clubs. So we're starting to see that. Gold Cup is happening if you're watching that. So there's some uh, Nations League was like a month or two ago. MLS season in, in full swing. A lot of, uh, lot of European clubs coming to uh, the United States for their preseason tourneys. Yep, Women's World Cup, Messi MLS day. In fact, I'm looking at a ESPN FC headline right here saying Messi lands in US ahead of the Inter-Miami Inter unveiling. Apparently they're trying to get some sort of unveiling special happening at halftime of the Gold Cup Final, which will be on Sunday, I believe. I'll be here on Sunday. We'll be watching together. Yeah, excited. the Mbappe saga. There, uh, I guess Mbappe, killing Mbappe uh, showdown, more like, between him and the club. I think the owner was like, we don't want to lose you on a free, a free transfer next summer. So the best time is to try to sell Mbappe, get some money or... You know, trades or player trades are rare in 
in uh, European and global soccer, but there's an ultimatum there basically. Basically, hey, sign an extension or we need to move you. And then there's like loyalty clause money involved. There's all sorts of random things happening. They would still have to pay him. So there's like, you know, there are, uh, I guess, the equivalent of capologists, you know, who are, who are talking about like, hey, you know, it'd actually be less money to get money back or something like that. Read into it, folks. There's Erlen Holland, Dortmund edition in this year, Kevin. And there's Sandro Tonali, 11 out of 50 for AC Milan. That's for Jay. And of course, all card ship. And there's Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane play for Inter? No, I'm think who am I thinking of? Am I thinking of this very Robbie Keane? I didn't realize he played for Inter. <coughs> played for Liverpool for a season or two, Tottenham for a little bit, a little, little time at Leeds. But I guess most of his caps in the EPL were with Wolverhampton. Caps, appearances, 73. And then was, he was with the Galaxy. He was here for a while. He had quite popular. You know who I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Roy Keane. Roy Keane, who is the inspiration, I think, for the Ted Lasso show, the Roy Kent. I haven't seen the latest season. Sergio Ramos to 199 PSG. That's for Kevin. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Frankie de Jong to 125. Cristiano Ronaldo, Man United edition, Brian K. The most recent Man United edition. And then we've got Yusofo Mukoko, 20 out of 2.99 for Dorman. That's for Kevin. And we've got Martin Stelkenberg for Ajax. And that's for Kevin with the extra spot that he won. All right, that was box one. Box two. Let's see what else, what other news is happening here. Uh, Edwin Vandersar out of the hospital. He is out of immediate danger after some scary brain bleed situation here. Christian Pulisic nearing a AC Milan move. Uh, according, to, according to sources, Harry Kane, I think, keen on a Bayern Munich transfer. Chelsea exodus continues as Fofana joins Berlin. Maybe in anticipation of... Uh, Harry Kane leaving. Tottenham has completed the signing of winger Manor Solomon on a free transfer, 23-year-old. I can't, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're letting Harry Kane go, you know, I mean, you may as well just, right? You may as well just let Hyunmin Son go. You may as well let a lot of those players go and just start some sort of rebuild. You know, any anyone over the age of 27, you would just just let go all move all of those guys. <laughs> I 
All right, next box. Another Erlen Holland. Let's see if we can find some parallels of that guy. There's an insert refractor. So this is all going to go to Dortmund. This is for Kevin. And the base Holland here. And what a what a player. And there's Noah uh, Mbamba, 41 out of 50. For Bruges, that's for the Bruges-Lille combo. That'll be for Andy. And Rafael Liao for AC Milan. That's going to go to Jay. Garvido, Refractor. And there's Gavi, Thomas, Thomas Muller. Virgil van Dyke. And Kevin De Bruyne. 95 out of 125, Man City. Brian Kay with that one. And using the black ink, that's Michael Lodger. The uh, famous uh, German international, I believe. Danish. That was close. But one of the greatest players of all time. Yeah, there's a Ryan Lind in this break, Ryan Rice. All right, nice Michael Lodra, Barcelona edition going to Ryan Lind. Speaking of, last spot mojo as well, strikes again. Last spot mojo, 70% of the time, it's 100% of the time. Next. By the way, I'm trying to I'm trying to think who has had in recent memory who has had as much hype I guess if from a Premier League English Premier League perspective who's a player that has has had as much hype coming in as as Erlen Holland and then has actually delivered in the way you know that Erlen Holland delivered in the Premier League this season I don't remember. I, I can't remember. Not in recent memory. I want to say, for, for my club's perspective, from Liverpool's perspective, Luis Suarez and even Mohamed Salah, I think, were kind of unknown-ish quantities. And they played well, but I don't think they had hype, that much hype coming into it. Excuse me. Can't think of it. But he has certainly delivered. All right, next box. Nuno Mendes, finest futures. And then we've got a Doniel Malin for Borussia Dortmund. That's to 175, that's speckle parallel for Kevin. And our autograph is 
Wilson Manafa. For Porto, that's going to go to the Porto Salzburg combo. That's going to be for Kevin. Memphis to Pi and Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 254 out of 299. Fun player to watch. AC Milan, that's going to go to Jay. Cristiano Ronaldo going to Man United, that'll be for Brian. And Finest Futures, Jude Bellingham Refractor. He's pretty good. And that'll go to Kevin and Dorman. And we've got Tony Cruz, Centurions, gold. Not numbered. And we got Gonzalo Inacio to 25. That is for, uh, for sporting. That's going to go to Kevin. And for anyone joining these breaks, with those rookie cards especially, it's worth looking up or kind of keeping track of those players. And here's a Sandro Tonali autograph for AC Milan. Because this is 2021-22. So for those younger players and their development, they can evolve rather quickly and suddenly become really popular players. All right, next up. What other headlines do we have here? Pulisic close to a 20 million pound move from Chelsea to Milan. I kind of wish Pulisic would stay in England or even come to the MLS. I don't think he'd come to the MLS, but just because it should be better for the hobby. I don't know how many Americans are uh, Really keeping an eye on uh, on Syria. I mean, I mean, they did have some Champions League. So I mean, I guess people will see him on Champions in Champions League action. Inter looking to complete a permanent deal for Lukaku. Man, the Saudi Arabian league snap it up, trying to snap up all these Pogba has a 128 million pound offer, according to rumors. Uh, kits are out. That's always a popular thing. The money, I wonder if, should American teams do this? I don't know how much, would that, how much money that would that generate? I don't know. I feel like the competition for jerseys is, is, is far greater here. I've got a baseball team to support, a basketball team to support, an NFL team to support. An MLS team to support, LA Galaxy, a, a soccer team to support, you know, maybe even some collegiate sports that I'm supporting. That's a lot from my, you know, disposable income as far as sports, sporting merchandise goes. Here's out of Yemi for Salzburg, for Kevin. But for a lot of kids growing up in the UK, all of their you know, sporting merchandise disposable income is going to go into their football club. There's really only one club they're supporting. Maybe an England shirt, a national team shirt or something like that. Here's another Robbie Keane. This time blue for Inter. That's going to go to Brian. 117 out of 150. But there's basically a new, a new uniform, a new kit every year. There's Luka Susic to 199, Salzburg. Real Madrid, that's for Kevin. <clears throat> uh, 
There's Robert Lewandowski to 125. Bayern Munich. That's for Adam. Got Lionel Messi. That's going to be. How long is his deal in the United States again? A few years. Got to save up for tickets. And we've got a uh, autograph Roberto Piccoli for Atalanta. And that's going to go to Jay. And that, my friends, is our final autograph. Next half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Half case from a fresh case. And we can chase all the big names here in finest UEFA Champions League soccer. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, we'll do some more footy breaks with you next time. Bye-bye.